Hey guys, Mike, your host of Crushing Your Fear. And today we're going to talk about remember your why. Uh, remember your why. Now, one of the things we don't really think about or we, we figure out is what our why is. And what I mean by that, like, you know, why do we do something or why do we live? You know, the whole, the whole purpose of just being, you know, what is our why? Is it our kids? Is it our spouse? Is it a partner? Um, is it our parents? Is it, is it just for us? We want a better life. Why do we do things? So take a, take a minute and think about it. You know, think about what your why is and, and set it. It has to be this big, big reason, you know, that makes you get out of bed in the morning makes you do what you really don't like to do, but you know, it's good for you, right? Set your why. Um, And then we find, we find ourselves drifting, right? We're not on track. Uh, We don't do something we really should be doing to better ourselves and drifting. It's important to to bring that why up and that why will uh, get us back on track. And say, for example, um, Ed Milet. Ed Milet talks about, um, you know, his history. His family had a history of heart disease, and, and people had heart attacks and died in his family. And he finally got uh, his heart checked out, and um, he wasn't really eating well. He was eating like burritos and eating junk. And the doctor, you know, just asked him a couple questions. He says, "Oh, do you uh, you like being with your wife?" Um, he's like, "Of course." You know, like, well. You like the idea of some other guy, you know, being there and having breakfast uh, with her because you're gone. <laughs> and he's like, what are you talking about? Um, how about your daughter? Do you want to be at her wedding? Her daughter, his daughter's name is Bella. Um, do you want to be at her wedding? Do you want to walk her down the aisle? He's like, of course I do. He's like, what about if somebody else, uh, some other guy was the, the guy that walked her down the aisle because you're not here? And he's just like, what are you talking about? What's in, you know, what's in those scans? What's in that heart uh, uh, diagnosis? And he's like, look, listen to me. Uh, you got to eat better. You got to do exactly what I tell you to do. And you will be able to uh, walk your uh, daughter down the aisle. And he's like, all right, whatever, whatever needs to happen. So his, his why became um, Bella's wedding, his daughter, Bella, Bella's wedding. So whenever he gets off track, he doesn't want to do something, get up in the morning. He's like, Bella's wedding, Bella's wedding, Bella's wedding. It's the trigger for him to um, get up and do what he needs to do to be a better person. So um, that's his why. And and you need to find your why. And uh, you'll be a better person because of it. So to take a couple minutes, think about it, you know, think about what your why is. And then you'll do great things. Okay, if you like our podcast, please share with somebody. Um, go on iTunes or whatever podcast uh, platform you're listening to. Give us a rating and review. Five stars, everything is awesome. Subscribe. Check out my website, crushingyourfear.com. Send me an email if you'd like, Michael at Crushing Your Fear. Got my book coming out soon. It's called Crushing Your Fear. Uh, it'll be out shortly. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. But uh, that's what I got for today. Remember your why. Figure it out. All right. We'll talk to you soon.